Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. Today is the first day of our silage chopping, and the boys are here sharpening their machetes. The way we do it, we go through the field and cut. We grind our, we make our silage with a wood chopper, chipper. So that's how it's gonna be done today in this video, and you'll see exactly how we do it. But now we do have something coming up in this field behind me that's full of weeds and grass. We're gonna do something different on that field. But today, we're doing a clean field. We're doing a nice field. We're gonna get with it. Let's go. All right, boys, I want y'all to listen to me. You can come over here, Kevin. Do not stand behind or walk up behind somebody that's cutting, okay? Do not, because it won't be that person's fault if you get cut. And we just sharpen these things, they're gonna cut. And so when you, somebody's swinging, it's not their fault, they're working. Okay, so do not walk up behind somebody. This right here is the corn that I fertilize strictly with crimson clover that I grew in the fall through the winter and the spring. I mowed it, I plowed it under, and that nitrogen was amazing. So we're reaping the benefits of that today, and we are going to chop silage. We are excited. We're going to keep those three rows right there that have the tree laid in front of them. Two or three rows we're going to let cure out, we'll pick ear corn off of them and use that for other things besides silage. All right, we're gonna get this loaded up and then we're gonna swap trucks out. I've got two green Chevrolets and buddy, they do good. It's just right now, 8.30, load number one. Let's get it. Swapping out. There's load number two right there. All right, Mr. Joe, there you go. Boy, y'all have a nice swath down through there. Yeah, five rows. Yeah. Well. We probably got about two and a half more loads on that row. Really? Yeah. Uh, so it's thick. It's really putting out. Yeah. Well, that's good. All right. I'll see you in a minute. All right. Good old Chevy truck. 422,000 miles. Uh-oh. Better throw some oil to it. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can't afford to run new trucks all the time, especially doing this kind of work. And I sure can't afford no electric vehicles, so I think I'll just keep putting oil in. All right, that's load number two down the hatch. Before I do any more, I'm going to get the tractor and pack this down, but I'm going to go swap out trucks with them right here. And yes, I'm getting just a little hot. 9.40. He's ready for me. Number three, right there. What are you doing up there, boy? Oh, where'd you go? There he is. It's a groundhog. Oh. Hey, let me tell you a secret. Look at me. I see you. Look at me. Hey, you're gonna, you're gonna get itchy. You're gonna be itchy. <laughs> Get out of there, boy. Uh, you're going to be itching. Ooh, boy. Come on, Joe. Jump out, son. Jump out, son. Go ahead and jump out. No, jump. Jump. Oh, 
that's like rolling out of bed right there. <laughs> rolling out of bed. See you, boys. See ya. It's 9.40. Almost time to eat. No, 9.40. Oh, uh, 9.40. It was back in the middle to early 90s, 1900s, that I, I took 10th grade agriculture. It was an extra class. I didn't know if I would ever need it, but I knew I enjoyed that topic. At that time, I wasn't, I was living in town on half an acre, right? At home, homeschooled. I didn't have to take that class, but I did. In that class, there was a section on how to make silage and what stage it needs to be in and all this stuff. They said, make your silage in the late dough stage. That's the prime, prime stage to make it in. And so if you're wondering why we're not doing this field first and then moving over to that field, it's for that very reason. This is the corn that's over there. It's in the late dough stage. You can mash it, but juice is very thick. It doesn't come squirting out, hitting you in the face. This corn here, as you can see, fresh silk, it's still making an ear. Some of the, some of the corn in this field has got old silk. We'll open it up. And it squirts a little more. Now this actually would be ready to go, this one. But as you remember from my previous video, this is a sporadic field. It's not at all even. And so, so that's why we're doing that. So the next stage is to pack, pack, pack. I've got a pretty nice little pile here. I'm gonna go get my tractor and we're gonna pack it down. Did you know in the last video there was a man said you was cuckoo? <laughs> you tell him that, huh? <laughs> yeah. Where are you going? I'm going to the house. No. You ain't going to help me do salad this year? I can't, man. I got a thing to do. People's going to be crying. I can't. I promised him you'd help me. I know. I told him he's going to be in the video. <laughs> well, listen. I'll let you go this time, but will you promise to help me tomorrow? I mean, we may not do it tomorrow. It might rain or we might finish a spill. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Look up, son. Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday. You gonna help me tomorrow? I might. Uh, folks, we need more than I might. <laughs> my, my, my hogs have mites. <laughs> 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 my hogs have mites. Well, son, I gotta get to work. I got boys. son. I gotta get to work, too. Watch this, I, watch I this. I don't know, I'm going to talk about the rain or, you know, he said he came by last, last Tuesday or last Thursday, and I'm like, that's what? Hey, back me in, come here. Mary, this is what Decided to help. That bring back good memory, don't it, son? Oh, you had to help, didn't you? He loves it, man. He loves it. About the time I started doing it, he put his cane down, put his umbrella down. <laughs> well. I 
gotta go get load number four, son. It's beautiful, ain't it? It's a beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful. Then I got a nail. Got a nail. Woo! You tore it off. <laughs> <laughs> Well, number four, then. I'll see you. Okay, you gonna stick around or you leaving? I'm leaving and uh, see you tomorrow. Alright, see you tomorrow. Just remember what you're missing out on. Hey, y'all gonna play over to dinner? I mean, uh, snack, are you? Snack? You guys gonna have a snack on the house? Snack? Do you feel a lot of water? What's a snack? Well, whatever. Are you doing feeding? Peaches. Oh, okay. Well. What she said. They doing beans and peaches and we doing corn, huh? Yeah, I think so. Well, we a productive family, son. Except for you, you're leaving me. Well, I can't help it. I got other things to do too. I got to see. I don't know when I got to see. <laughs> but I'll find something. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cuckoo bird. <laughs> cuckoo bird. That old man was right. You cuckoo, son. Hey, Frank. Earlier, I come driving up the road. I thought I seen you here already. Then I looked closer. It was my cow's hind end facing me. <laughs> Coming in here to get it at 10:20. That means it's been 40 minutes since I come and got that last load. That don't suit me too good. I need to try to speed this up a little bit. Let's see if we can't do a little better next round. 10:20. We got to remember that. Boys are sitting under the shade tree. That's that's not a problem. That's good. Let them cool off a little. Ten twenty, boys. You got a half a half a load down there. Half a load yeah. down where? At the end. Oh, okay. Still standing or cut? It's cut. Oh boy, y'all are getting ready. It took me forty minutes. That's too long. Maybe it's because Frank helped. I don't know. One more. He left now, so I'll see if I can't get done a little quicker. <laughs> Uh, my phone's overheating. I can't keep my phone on. Uh, See you, boys. Gotta get moving. All right, time to pack her, pack it down, pack it, pack it. Here we go. There'll be a warning later once we get a little higher up in the air, but for right now, we're just gonna have fun. What do you got, Dave? A pear? Where'd you yeah. find that? They went down and picked it out of the orchard. Huh? Well, it's yummy. Really good. You want it? I don't eat the rest of it. I can try. It's really good. An Asian pear out of our orchard. That's really good. Got a good taste. Mmm. Thank you, Dave. That load took me 25 minutes. Mm. Much better. Frank was gone, that made a difference. <laughs> oh, there's a good crew right there, folks. Good crew. We've been using this wood chipper. This is the third year that we use the wood chipper. And in case you ain't figured it out, I ain't getting a silage chopper. It's been every, every year when we do this, people say, oh, you need a silage chopper. And that's true if I was gonna be a farmer, but I'm not a farmer, I'm a I'm an adventurer. I am a homesteader. As soon as I get a silage chopper, you guess what? We don't want to scoop it already ground up, load after load, scoop, scoop, scoop. We don't want to do that, so we had to buy a silage wagon. I don't want to leave my silage chopper and my silage wagon out to rust down, so then I got to build a building. I bought this wood chipper for a thousand bucks. It's a dual purpose, although I bought it specifically for corn. We use it for also doing our wood chips. So it's a dual purpose. A thousand bucks it cost me. That's a lot cheaper than going at all this expense. I ain't going to do it, folks. I ain't going to do it. How many farms go out of business every day in the USA? I ain't going to do it. <laughs> Load 
load number five down the hatch. Let's go get load number six. What's going on, boys? This is load number six. That took 25 minutes as well. Caleb. <laughs> He's killing you. Was he beating you to death with a wet noodle? <laughs> Bless your little heart. Oh, well, it's a good thing I got him in charge then. Got to keep you moving, boy. <laughs> boy, look at this ground. That's nice. Nice and dry. Oh, Perfect. Autumn olives are ready. Autumn ready. Hey, maybe after we get this all done, we'll make some jelly or something. Yeah, maybe. They'll be. They'll probably be all. Uh, more I'll go. Right. More right. More, oh, more good. right. Good. Good. Because they're not all right. Matt, that I believe that's ten or twelve foot tall stuff right there. That's pretty good looking corn. We're going to get it out of here and get some clover in here so we can get good corn next year. Dave, how come you're so far ahead of Matt? I don't know. <laughs> I better get out of here before before I start meddling in something that ain't none of my business. Joel's the boss here. I'm the boss over there. Of course, there ain't nobody to boss around because Frank's gone, but oh well. Number six. Nice beard. <laughs> Are you hungry? Oh. All right, it's time to go to lunch. Let's go. I think we're going to eat at Frank's house. No way. You coming to eat with us? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on. I don't know. It's time to eat. Come on. You look like a milkmaid over there. You got your skirt on? Get to work, old man. Come eat with us, son. Okay. That old fart, he's hard to handle sometimes. He's on his own. Frank's gone. What are we gonna do? Eat, eat. eat. Okay. <laughs> How is it, man? Is it good? Mm-hmm. Peach pie, cobbler stuff. Oh man! All right, time to go. Time to go back to work. Get them boots on, boy. I'll see ya. <laughs> Frank, you missed it. It was good. See you, bye. All right, we got lunch finished. We've got uh, six right here chopped. I got to finish packing this one. Then we're going to chop number seven. The boys are over getting number eight loaded up now. All right, give me just a moment to show you what corn we grew on a field. Literally zero chemical fertilizer. Look at the size of this stalk. Literally that big around. Now I'll show you this ear. Now the most amazing part about it is we grew corn there last year in that same field. It's amazing that we were able to grow this corn without chemical fertilizer in that field. I am sold, sold on crimson clover. Look at that ear. I just cross-pollinated ear of trucker's favorite with a little bit of a yellow Guatemalan corn in there. That is beautiful. And it's amazing. It's big and beautiful. If you're going to grow corn next year, folks, please plant crimson clover in that spot now. Right now. You'll be glad you did.
All right, let's go get number eight. They're just waiting on me. I don't see no helpers. Hey, I hear a voice. What are you doing? What are you doing, kid? Eating again. We just had lunch, boys. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. Number, number nine, number eight, number eight. 130. All right, that's it. Number eight's done, going back to number nine. Huh? Your apple? Yes, I'm I don't see him. I didn't know you had an apple on my truck, boy. Every time I turn around, you're doing something about food. How did an apple get up there, boy? He put it up there. <laughs> Starved to death, bless his heart. All right, number nine right there, boys. We're gonna head back and get it. That one took 35 minutes, but y'all had me a real pile, boys. All right, gonna go. Get to work, kid. What are you doing eating all day? <laughs> hey, there he all right, at this stage in the game, it starts becoming important about what I mentioned earlier, the warnings. Once you start getting up in the air a little bit, you start getting into a danger zone when you get your tractor up here. There have been people killed doing this, so it pays to pay attention. Always when you're going up on the pile, keep your center of gravity balanced out and hit it. And instead of getting over to the edge, move around and hit it in the middle again and you'll get over and still keep your balance. Doing this right here helps as well by balancing the pile out a little bit. And there's number 10 coming right out to me. Just automatic. We've got a conveyor belt. There's boys down there that ain't eating. I can't believe it. Well, I'll bet Caleb's eating. The rest of them might be working. <laughs> Just stung you, huh? Yeah. It's called a saddleback, and they're yeah. bad. Uh, Where'd it sting you? Right there. Yeah. That's a problem. They they get in the corn and you can't yeah. see them and they get you. Show it a little closer. Those uh, those spines on the front and the back. Instant needles. They just definitely get you. It's a saddleback. Put it down and squash it. See y'all in a minute. Yeah. Or 30. Here he comes with number 11. What you got, kid? What you got, kid? What you got, kid? Ooh. You think that's the coons? It could be. I seen squirrels hopping out of the field, too. Either one. Coons or squirrels, either one's getting a bunch of it, ain't they? Oh, well. We're getting more than they did. Yeah. See you boys, I'm gonna go back and grind number 11. There was a lot. A lot? Yeah. Well, at least they had something to eat before we eat them. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, you look tired. Joe, 
Matt won't be complaining about being tired when he's out on the houseboat next year, will he? No. Nope. Unless he stays up late. Well, he might stay up late. I don't know. Caleb, what do you think about it? <laughs> That's why they call it a job. You got did? You did? No. Oh. My arms feel like they did, but it's just broke out from the uh, corn. Oh, well. You know, if it was easy, the way old Wild Bill used to say, if it was an easy job, they'd have pretty little girls doing it. Yep. And guess what? We're getting this done so we can go hunting. There'll be some big deer out here. Mm-hmm. Matt thinks he's got the dibs on the big one. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I hope he does get a big one. Last year he got a big one. Bigger than me, anyway. You gonna hunt deer this year with the 243? Maybe. <laughs> if you'll let me. If I let you? Let's say if you don't get knocked over with the gun. What? What? All right, it's a deal. You're going to have to shoot it at the target and see if you can do it. I can't. <laughs> uh, how old are you? Seven. That guy right there killed one when he was seven. get back to work <laughs> work comes first all right i'm gonna take load number 11 and let's go <laughs> see you boys mm -hmm. can you trap i thought you already have been trapping you said you caught that coon the other day <laughs> what Howie? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. I gotta go, boy. See ya. Sometimes it pays to remind yourself and your kids of the big picture. You've seen what happened back there. The whole atmosphere changed when I got them thinking about the big picture. The whole atmosphere changed. Psychology? Maybe. Daddy being daddy for sure. All right, there is what number 11 looks like on the pile. Let's go get number 12. And here we are. Hey, boys. Getting started on another row, huh? Nice. Number 12 right here. Yes, sir. This is number 12, right? Hey, kid. You been thinking about what I told you? What? About hunting deer? Yeah. You have? No. No? No, I'm <laughs> You can think about hunting while you're working. Yeah, I haven't been. You haven't? How about trapping them? Trapping deer? No, trapping them coons to keep eating that corn. Well, maybe we can. Is that what you'd rather do? better than hunting? Well, I like hunting, I also like trapping. Okay, well, do your work good and maybe we'll talk about it. Yeah, I was thinking about saving a couple of cops and using it for bait. <laughs> Ain't you a son? So you were thinking about it. Oh, I thought you might be. I got to get out of here. See you. I got to do number 12. See you, kid. Being a good father is my number one priority. I do not care if I'm a bad farmer, if I'm bad at my job, if I'm bad at everything. If I'm a terrible father, it doesn't matter if everything else is done perfect. I'm a failure. That's the way I believe. I really do. If I succeed as a father, my life was a success. It don't matter about everything else. I could be the worst YouTuber that ever lived. And if I have my children turn out right, then I'm a success. I don't care about the rest. But if I fail as a father, I have failed society as well as my children. 
cut them again and go grind number 12. <laughs> All right, number 12 is here. has good timing. Hmm. Uh-oh, it's a big load. Oh, boy. Number 13. Joe, you got me a big load. Hey, kid. Look what's in the back of this truck. I found them on the road. I wonder who lost those. <laughs> Why you think me? You blame me for everything, boy? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm the only one that's driving. Oh, well. Tell me. Now I've been thinking about the deer. Okay, what are you thinking about it? Can I hunt juvenile in the youth season? That's when you would hunt, yep. In the juvenile youth season. Hopefully I'll get one so I can get a trail camera. Maybe oh, so. Oh, and if I fix yours, can I have it? Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about the 243. You think you can shoot it? Hopefully, Matt said it doesn't kick. Okay, well, okay, I guess we're going to try it. Okay. We'll have to try it here within the next month or two. I got to take number 13 back, okay? See you, see you, Joe. You got it going on. Let's see here about this field. Well, we're not halfway done yet. See you, kid. Gotta go. Yep, we ain't gonna work till no six or seven o'clock tonight. To make you feel good. <laughs> see you in a little bit. It's 425. Oh, people tell me all the time, work smarter, not harder. And I say, just work. I don't care how you do it. Nobody wants to work smarter or harder nowadays. All right, this is number 13 we're getting ready to knock out. I want you to look at the size of this ear. That is a whopper. An absolute whopper. I may save him for seed. All right, there's Lucky 13. Let's go get number 14. Well, they're sitting there waiting on me this time. A little slinky fox, huh? Uh, is this load overdoing? overdoing. Is this load overdoing? Overdoing. Oh, I was hoping to do one more, make it 15. Talk to your brother, see if you can talk him into it. Yeah, it's five o'clock basically. One more. I'm not gonna come back for it. You, sir, can drive it home. How's your arm where you got stung, sir? Uh, it went away. About, went away? Yeah, I had done got one about 30 minutes before. Not oh, yeah? Long. Did you rub some dirt on it, spit on it? No. no. <laughs> See you, kid. See ya, Pat. <laughs> that field has quite a few. Really? really? I hadn't had one yet. I figured I'd get one. Yeah. Look at this little worm right here. You like them? Oh, well, take it and no. get it. If you don't take it, I'm going to eat it. Hey, it's on your finger. Huh? Well, bud, Jacks. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'll see you when you get 15. Yeah. Don't let Joel say it's a, it's a load when it's only half. Yeah, Joel don't say that. He said keep loading and Joel is too big. <laughs> hey, that's why I've got him as a boss. Good job. He's a good, he's a good man. Oh, that's his hat. That's right. That's right, he ain't joking. <laughs>
see you boys. Oh, good kids, good kids. It's a beautiful thing when you got boys that'll work like that. And of course, I ain't laying around myself. And that makes a big difference. They ain't gonna work hard for me if I'm just laying around. But anyway, let's get back there and grind this load. Feels good? That's why we've got him here, because he's a bad boy. Caleb? I guess I got to, uh, I got to knock that down and pack it with the tractor right Okay. Quick. Are you going to get some of the cow? No, i got to push it your way. It's trying to fall. It's this way. I said, are you going to get some of the cow? Okay, creeping down, trying to fall my way. <laughs> he thought yep. just throwing it at him. <laughs> uh. What are you doing, son? You're gonna give all my silage away. Don't throw it in the dirt. Throw it in the grass over there. <sighs> oh, he's ready to fight. You hear that bull? Mm -hmm. He ready to fight. He wants to he's wanting to fight that machine's what he's wanting to do. That's enough. Yeah. What are you gonna do with these cows? Come on, keep them. Oh. She's going in. Joe's gonna milk. And I know y'all have seen enough corn. Maybe you wanna see a cow get milked. Matt, you wanna knock this pile down for me so I can do that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show these folks this cow milk. Huh? With a shovel? Yeah. Oh, that's a shovel. Knock it all that way so that I can pack it. Look at the crossbred corn. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna save it for seed if it'll if it'll dry down. I may not I may lose these two ears because they might be a little young. But I am definitely saving two or three whole rows out there. We'll sh we should get some good, uh, should get some good corn seed. Joe, is this a good relaxing way to finish the day off? Yep. 
<laughs> it's a lot nicer when there's cold weather, ain't it? I guess if Caleb keeps swatting flies for her, she won't have to swat with her tail. Hit you in the head. She loves to hit you right in the noggin. I believe old Rosebud might be bagging a little bit. That's what I was thinking. She won't be, won't be too long. She'll be having a baby. Yeah. She's about as big as her mama now. Yeah. Really has been growing good. All right, there's 15 truckloads right there. Ground up, packed down, ready to go. But tomorrow, we're going to come back and we're going to do it again. All over again. If it ain't raining. And the old bull better be good. He gonna get a top knot right on top of his head. Anyway, 